We're live. Hang on. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm basically, I'm just going to tie a light fly basically because of the camera. Um, as I said, my go-to is black. It covers 60% of my fishing at Stack Fontaine. Uh, very effective fly, but one or two things can happen. You, you, you're either going to get a fly that comes up and has a look and runs for a country mile, or you're going to get the other one who's just going to engulf it totally. Uh, generally, we, we fish this to the bigger cruisers. You know, they're just off the scum line. Uh, they they feed in properly, and you just you just pop it literally about a foot or two in front of him, and he he's going to come up and he's going to eat it. Okay, so I use two different types of hooks. It depends what mood I'm in and what I've got lying around the house. Either gummer size six. I know it sounds big, but yeah, you know, it's got a nice large gape, and you know. The fish aren't scared of it. Or I use the, the knapper hooks, also on the size 8, the terrestrial. So we start off with the hook and then basically there's, there's quite a bit of prep in here. What you got to do, you got to we glue four sheets of foam together. So you just take an A4 sheet, cut into four pieces, glue it together. Uh, put it under a whole bunch of books. Uh, generally I use a contact adhesive or if I'm feeling rich for the month I'll buy the, the spray foam one. So you, get, you cut them into strips like that, just take a, a little standing knife, and then you can take your scissors. And you're going to kind of cut at a slight angle. You know, you want to make a bigger head re region and a smaller tail section. I don't know if you can see. That's a bit big, but I'm over-exaggerating, just so you can see the, the cut. Behind the hook. Behind the hook. Okay. So it's on your side of the hook. Okay, so it must have cut from the beginning. No, it's fine. Is that good? Okay. Must I put a finished product on? Or should we just carry on? It is, and the fish love it. Okay, so we've got our hook. We're going to just put a little bit of waterproof. Super glue on there. So for this one, I'm just going to, what we do, we cut a slit down, sorry, I forget, I'm down the middle there. And we take that slit. Things are focusing. So you want a little bit of the arse off the bend of the hook, and you want the head almost all the way up to the the eye of the hook. So you're probably cutting about two mils, eh? Uh, you know, just into the first uh, thing of foam. Maybe, you know, two and a half. Uh, you want to keep that gape, you know, a fair size gape there. Also, once once we do the segmentation, it is going to pull it up, so we'll get a little bit more. That's why I also like using the, the BTNS uh, in the size sixes. I was asking, so what colors are you doing? So you got shot juice and so, and tan, yeah. And so, black, black, and black, well. black and tan. Uh, sometimes you even go bright green. I don't know if his fish stack is here, but often you'll find big hoppers that are, yeah. are you know, jumping into the water. And, you know, so we've seen them get taken. And, and honestly, you know, literally double the size of that. So, you know, we're not scared to throw a big hopper. It looks like my favorite yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be using tan thread. Um... You know, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, at the end of, I normally take a Copic marker and just, you know, play around with the Copic marker, put a couple of dots on a couple of lines. And we're going to start off with a big body segment for the head. I'm using 140 denier. <laughs> so it's something nice and thick because I'm just too aggressive generally and I break off uh, the, the 70 denier. So you wrap it nice and tight, and then you're going to tie it off. So this is the obviously a little bit tedious having to do these segments, but it's it's actually quite an easy fly once you get the hang of of doing the segmentation. So we want to go from bigger to to slightly smaller, 
and generally, we, you know, never really count, but you, you, you normally end up with four or five different segments. So obviously as you get to the gap here, you just got to be careful otherwise every now and again you just hook the, the tip and it cuts your thread. Also we, we do play around with the sizing. Uh, there are some days where you know there's not always that scenario where you get in those those big cruisers cruising around. So sometimes we do tie slightly smaller flies. Then for this last section, I'll just turn it around. And then we're gonna tie the butt off. So don't worry about the, you see, you can get that, you get in that flaring on the butt. We're going to trim that down now. Now, don't think the yellows mind. Sorry, I don't think the yellows mind. No, they don't. But <laughs> I think it, <coughs> just for the fisherman's appeal. So with the bum, you just trim it like that. So there you can see your basic shape taking part. So now what we do, we take rubber legs. You know, you can use any any type of any type of rubber legs. Um, Sometimes we use barred, uh, but the round ones seem to, to flare out the best. So basically, we take three strands, and on the second segment, I'm going to tie them in and then play around with it, and I'm going to cut two of these legs off at the bottom. So we're going to have a thick part, and then obviously the thin part for the foot. So when you tie these legs in, just tie them in very softly at first. And then what, once you've got a, a fair guesstimate on how long you want these legs, you can start squeezing it and you'll see that they'll pop out to the side a little bit and that's exactly what we're looking for. Now you can just tighten and give a couple of wraps and then tie it off. Also, you know, looking at, don't worry about that you got that, that thick thread. Once again, I said, just going to take your Copic marker or any type of permanent waterproof marker and mark it off. Let me cut these legs off. And catch fish as it is already. Yeah, no, definitely. So then just keep these because we're going to use them for the front legs. And then just look for the best leg that's sticking out. And that's the one you want to keep. So you'll cut two off. And then you keep the, the one leg that kind of angles down at the, at the best angle as if it was a, a hopper leg. Okay, then we're going to get to the head section here.
Okay, now we, we've, got a, we've got a couple of different options to do here. So what we always do, we put a little bit of crystal flash in there. Um, not a lot, you know, I don't like uh, too much because it flares out quite nicely. So you know, maybe four or five strands is going to be more than enough for the fly. And then after that, you know, two or three different options that we use. We either use a bit of deer hair uh, over this. Um, I'm not a big fan. It tends to to tip the fly over when it's sitting in the water. You know, just a little bit heavy sometimes, you know, if, if, if the guy puts too much on. So I like to make my flies, you know, very nice, light. So I either use this web wing or I use a bit of flash, uh, you know, the, the, the sheets of flash. So, you know, I get a whole bunch of different varieties. I've used all three or four. They all work just as well. Um, I find this actually doesn't work too bad uh, late evening because it's still giving you that little bit of reflectiveness, uh, you know, for the wing. So I have cut out a web wing. The problem with this web wing is eventually after a couple of fish it does flare out. However, it doesn't really affect the fly in the sense that the fish is not going to take it. So you're just putting it on top. So just putting a simple so just, wing on the just top. Put your hand behind it so you just a little bit just 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 past its butt eh? yeah. yeah then from there we're going to tie in our front legs so those little pieces that you caught so this you can actually squeeze quite hard because you, you want it to to make a like a 90 degree angle And then from here, you just straighten them, so they... And then we tie this guy off. And then if you want to get really technical, we like putting little eyes on it. Once again, I, th I think sometimes it's more for myself than for the fish, but... Every now and again, it's nice having a, a box that people are envious of. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do for the eyes, what I've done, I've burned some monofilament eyes. Uh, I use, sorry, okay. we're good there. Yeah, it's fine. I used 80 pound. Um, You could, you'll get away with 40 or 60. You know, you just got to judge it right. So once again, take super glue. So what I do, it's, it's quite it's quite hard. You know, your little piece of monofilament, and then you're going to cut it quite short, probably about three moles. You're going to put a little bit of super glue on the tip of the mono. And then... It, in, yeah, exactly. I've done it plenty. In that hole, I didn't make a hole that side. I made a hole this side. Playing ball with this, but <coughs> has anyone got tweezers for me? Did we got forceps? Tweezers? No, I don't. <laughs> Okay, good. Now it's going in eventually. That's an awesome fire. Oh, gross. Try it as well. 
Um, yeah, I don't see why not. I don't know, maybe not as big, but... Uh, no, try to do a little bit more fussy, yeah. You know. River trout, I'm sure it'll work. Check it out, this can help you. Ah, yeah, mm. champion, thank you very much. Not from your, your manicure set, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I've got a, I've got a kit full of tools here. And there we go. He who dies with the most tools yeah, wins. Awesome. Oh, you're right. So we've got little eyes in there. Put your hand behind this so we can get it to focus nicely. And that's basically your fly. Your... Oh, that looks lovely. That's brilliant. Huh? That's the go-to stack maintain popper. So you can tie three of those in half an hour? No, you, you know, you keep it a bit simple and you know, it'd probably take you seven, eight minutes. Uh, yeah, that's really pretty. Nice profile. Yeah, that's a and that's your fly, and, and trust me, it, it grafts like a dream. You know, it, it, you know, I'm not a big beetle fisherman. Uh, don't get me wrong, it works. Uh, this is on the end of my, my line 70% of the day. You know, unless they're taking... Can you fish these in tandem with anything else? Or um, no, you, or? definitely you can. Um, I just like fishing stackies on, on a... On, a, on dry only, uh, but that's my personal you preference. Single dry, or is it dry? And just, a, a just a single, single dry. dry. Yeah, um, our fish stack is a lot different to, to a lot of people. Um, I'm a walker, so I, I cover a lot of water. Yeah. I walk up very high, yeah. and I only feed. To, I only, I only cast to feeding fish. So we actually did a, a ratio. 